fucked up. Alright, uh, is that a bit better? Turn the music down, so hopefully that fixes it. Alright, good morning everybody. Let's, um, while I wait for these guys, I'm going to have a look at some cards. So, this is the uh, At Wild's Will. There it is, bing, 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 bing. Uh, the stream for today. We're going to... Um, I'm going to walk you through this build. So this is our... God, what is this? This is our third major update for our Mellow. So we've been releasing these every month on time. And, um... Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we've been releasing these on month. Uh, on month. <laughs> on time, every month. Um, this one's called That Wild's Will because it's super, um focused on now sort of our spirit characters um bolstering up the spell deck getting a heap of a heap of that functionality in there that we've been looking for as well as taking a good look at the spirit stone victory and really we've been having a lot of discussions about you know what that victory type means we prototyped a whole um heap of different uh, how do you say um changes to it i guess and uh prototype some you know sort of almost almost like little different <laughs> game modes i guess if you're if you're on the spirit stone victory different ways to totally different ways to win so we went through and did a bunch of that a um, bunch of spirit cards and some overhauls we got uh sort of whole heap more king's declarations in there including some cool ones called starfall stuff like that um and the spirit stone victory is is pretty pretty rad now it's really at a point where we want it there's a lot more um determinism to it if you start on the spirit stone victory path it's not any more about dungeon diving things like that you can really um you can really just you know find <sighs> find exactly what you need to do to in in order to get the spirit stone victory in order to accumulate them for your quest for the throne to absolve the king of his rot. Unfortunately, he dies in the process, but you know, that's that's pretty unknown. We get a little grim like that. Um, okay. Turn this music down a little bit because it's super loud in my ear. All right, card gallery. Now I'm going to be playing with uh, Woody today, and Woody's uh, one of our uh, exalted QA guys, um, and also <laughs> he's been banned from um, playing Thane. Um, but we might, I might get him to play Thane today because it's a, it's a, it's a thing of beauty to watch. And then um, we also have Lisi, our associate producer and community manager, whom you all know well. And she's going to be playing. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try Sana and just so we can, I can show you what all these spells are about. Uh, these new spells show you how magic and spirit characters are really, are really bolstered by um, this this new this new update that we've got and a bunch of the improvements that went in there's been a lot of talk for a while that um you know sana sana um, is is pretty tricky to play and that she may be a, a little underpowered but that's actually not the case as you'll probably find out today um sana in the right hands can be incredibly powerful and i think um watching you know the play styles between sana and thane um, and the differences there can really, really highlight the different types of playstyles that we can go for in, the, in our mellow. And what you can get out of each hero. Okay, so let's have, let's have a look at some of these cards. Um, highlight some while we're waiting for these guys to pull me into a game. They're just updating Steam. So, I believe we have an item. Oh, yeah, maybe I haven't finished a game, though, with it in here. Okay, so to get things to show up in your card gallery, you actually need to finish a game after having drawn that card. So... What else we got? Let's just cruise through this spell deck, see if we can see anything that's new. Oh, here we are. This one's a beautiful card. This one's by uh, Tim McBurney. Um, incredibly talented artist um, here in Australia. He's run a couple of really cool Kickstarter projects as well. Um, but this one, Moonbite, is super... Oh, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Maybe we'll see it in the game. Two health at night, or minus one health during the day. Um, super cheap card as well. So this one punches. A, this is one of those just straight up uh, damage cards that we uh, we're going to see a little bit more of in the spell deck with this with this update. Um, <laughs> it means that players like Sana can just <sighs> land the smackdown from across the board. Ready. 
Yeah, log Yusuf Bridge, log Wood Widow. So yeah, if you see us, um, if you see us in the in a game, or you know, you get a public match and it says uh, has a little log connotation before the front um, of if someone's name, it means that well, I guess anyone could do it. <laughs> but they're um, they're the developers um, over here at League of Geeks. A bunch of us play with the with the suffix or the prefix before our name. Come on, guys, why are you not ready? Taunt. <laughs> oh god, yeah, we need to change these, don't we? Thanks, buddy. Taunt. <sighs> so we're gonna see, yeah, we're gonna see a bunch of a bunch of um a bunch of cool stuff in this game. Really keep an eye out um on those stone circles. Um they have a very special role now in the Spirit Stone victory. Uh, for those of you who've played the game, you'll probably see stones crystallizing on them. Oh, here we go. Time remaining. 2, 1, 0. Okay, I'm going to go Sana. We've got the other, the second heroes here. Ooh, not too long now until we get to play around with them. We've actually been playing with this big boy in, in the studio here. He's getting his way in game. But not until the full release for everyone else. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Alright. Hmm. I think I'm gonna. I've got a bunch of body already. Um, spirit, I don't need. Fight. I'm actually not gonna go with fight. I'm gonna use this. Wits. I think I'm gonna go wits for sure. So I'm gonna go wits to give myself uh, some more, uh, some access to some more cards. Kasana's um, hand size isn't fantastic at the start of the game, and obviously um, the amount of wits he has me means you can because your wits is your hand size as well. Um, it means that I can just cycle through cards a bit better. So we cleaned up the start of the game. There's a little bit less stuff going on there to make it just a bit more focused on the king. Um, we've still got a bit of work to do there. Once bustling trade towns inhabitants are now few. Find out what happened to this settlement's population. Alright, what do we got? Mm, pilgrims from all around. So Wits Spirit. Ooh, ah, okay. Now this is this guy is gorgeous. This is this is the apprentice. <laughs> so cute. Um this is one of our new followers. Um spell cards cost one less magic to cost. I'm actually gonna do this because it's um It's gonna help me out a lot. What are you doing over here? Oh, has he got the... What's his ring? What, let's have a look at their ring loadout. Um, one action point at night, of course. And wits. What's Lisi chosen? Body. Stealth and settlements day and night. Um, yeah, we all, obviously, I know what I've got. Um, and Amber. Gain plus one shield on planes, which actually is surprisingly useful. And then gain plus one wits. Okay, so there's going to be a bit of card play in this game. Um, so I've got gain two magic if you're in a forest at dawn, um, which is great for Sana to get the great, really great for Bear Clan heroes to get that. <laughs> Go for Sana. Err, no, all strategy proclamation. Dark skin. I will win my spirit. Um, yeah, it's really great. Ooh, I've got some battle armor. Okay. I'm gonna, so armor is one of the most important things in, like, really, your one of your immediate goals in a game of Armello should be to get some armor going. Um, it's just, combat is so deadly in Armello, and that's the way we want it to be. Um, but you've, you've really got to armor up quickly. There are some, we're still adding a bunch more stuff in to, to help players get more access to armor um, and survivability, especially in this build. We've got body quest now, which you'll see. But yeah, you really want to stock up on your armor as quick as you can. Now, what am I going to do here? What do we do? Um, uh, there's a rabbit already there. Hmm. Hmm. Right, I'll just do this. Now I'm going. I'm actually going to stop here. Because at night time, I'm going to be stealth in that forest and someone is going to be able to play cards on me unless they, unless they scout me out. Leave the trees. Oh, here we go. See this? 
That's brand new. So now spirit stones is sometimes at night will crystallize on a stone circle and the first person to get to that stone circle will claim that spirit stone. Now a spirit stone won't appear on another stone circle unless that one is gone. So what it creates is this, this sort of um, geopolitical landscape where whoever's going for the spirit stone's uh, victory or wants a spirit stone, that's their path to victory right there. So Thane is obviously going for it now. Um, or, <clears throat> but say for example, if that was on Thane's side of the board and he felt he could defend it, he could, <clears throat> he could blockade my progress to a spirit stone victory by not collecting it and by defending it and keeping me away from it, making sure that I'm not getting onto it. Um, because as long as that st spirit stone is in that stone circle, it's not going to spawn elsewhere. So it's that thing of like, do you collect it? Do you protect it? Um, and we've actually got a really cool card in the game at the moment, which is oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna equip this one for now. Um, we've got a really cool card in, um, in the game now that permits you to block off an entire tile, and so I'll, I'll show you that quickly. Ah, I love this art. This is great. This is one of Ty's pieces. Fantastic. Talented boy. Alright, Amber. Okay, so... It's, what is Material doing? Oh, Amber's the AI. Isn't she? Of course. Patron, patronage and industry. So the AI have had a huge revamp. Oh, she doesn't know me. Ugh! God damn you. Amber. Has she got the Lord Scepter equipped or something? Oh, we're going to have to deal with Amber. Ooh, there's a new card. Um, what's Amber got equipped? No. Why'd she just gain prestige? Oh, oh well. Capture the settlement. Okay. So she's taking my settlement. I really wanted that for, <laughs> for Dawn. Oh, I guess I could just take hers. Um, okay, so here's a brand new card. Teleport. This one is um, incredibly useful, especially with the new Spirit Stones happening. Um, so this, I can literally play this to anywhere, any tile within my Spirit range. So I could just go, bloop, place this here and dive straight into it. I could place it onto wherever my quest is. Um, incredibly useful card for um, spell players. And it's, and obviously the greater your spell, your Spirit range, the more effective it is for you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Nope. Oh, yeah, I'll wake the trees somewhere. Dawn of day two. Thane is the prestige leader. What say you, Thane? Ooh, these king's decks as well. They really, you really can't guess what's coming. Um, king us. Oh, take all my gold. <laughs> That's devastating. Ah. Oh. Go for Thane. Um. Protect Thane. Um, there's a Bane over there. What else have we got? Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, the Woodsman's Cloak. The Woodsman's Cloak has now actually become... So this used to just be Gain Evade in Forest, but we've actually added Stealth to it as well now. Um, and so it gives you Stealth in Forest during the day. Like, you can see Thane's gone into this forest here, into the Shifting Timberlands, and we can't see him now. It's super, um, super great for Sana as well, who, uh, if she lands on a forest at dawn, um, you know, or a bear hero have the ring here where we um, we can gain two magic. Oh, why is this Kingsguard on my quest? That's devastating. Ugh.
pickpockets. Ooh, and oh, and Amber has no. Mercurio's captured a settlement from Thane over here. Stealing gold, no doubt. Prestige leader. Amber, it's a prestige leader. Oh, yeah, of course. Patronage and industry. Just getting some wits up. Going. Oh, what? Oh, no, I'm going to be routed. If she beats me. This is bad. This is really bad. See, now she got off more hits than me because behind me, this hex, this hex directly behind me and this hex are all blocked. I, I would have been routed. Even if she only got one more hit off on me, that would have, that would have been really bad news for me. Alright, so I need some spells here. Um, I'm scout and which I really want this King's Guard to go away. You should just deal with this rabbit. Um, up my fight. See if the... Ah! Alright, let's just do it. Battle Bear! Try and take this rabbit out. Goodbye, rabbit. No. <clears throat> yeah, that's what's up. <clears throat> so you, you can see how, in the right situation, Sana's just, um, she's actually not that hard to manage. Ooh, do I want to just get her out of my way? Look out for Sana. That's right. Look out for Sana. Um... Yeah, let's do it. And now, can I route her anyway? No. Let's just do this. One poor health. I only need to get one off on her, so unless she just goes crazy with the wilds. Um, keeping that teleport card, because it's super powerful. No! No! Oh! Oh, lucky, I just... Alright, oh, no, she's got two off on me. Do I pursue her? This is another thing with Armello is really um, knowing when to pick your battles. With so many things happening in regards to spirit stones around the board, I mean, in re like with uh, geo-based objectives, like with spirit stones on the board, with quests, um, with settlements, dying is really something that you you just don't want to do in Armello. Um, so that risk then of losing two health. Uh, Combat is just too deadly for me to risk losing two health against Amber in that. Even though she's only on one, I only need to basically tap her and she'll die. Oh, Rite of Wild, formed upon the Bane. Great card. This is uh, this is your Bane stomper, this spell here. I'm Rite of Wild, it was, I think it came out in our last patch, or maybe the patch before, um, where if you... Minus one health for every rot point a target has. So that Bane... One right. This is another thing as well that's um, that's gone into this update is you gain a prestige for card kills as well. So Thane just killed that Bane with a card and got a prestige for it. So you can kill someone with trickery from across the board, or you can kill someone with a spell from across the board, or even if they're right next to you and you'll gain the prestige. Even if there's a bounty, you can kill them. So you could play Rite of Wild onto a corrupted player and kill them. Oh no, not onto a corrupted player, because ah, it's in a Bane or Stone Circle. You can play Rite of Wild onto a player that has like two health and they also have two rot. And if you kill them, you'll get the prestige and <coughs> and any bounty they have as well. Mm 
Oh, Mercurio, on the stone circle. Oh. Wonder if I should just. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I could have been a lot wiser then. Got an altar there. Oh, moon sights. Are you kidding me? Ah, ah, ah! No! Oh, this is the worst. Oh God! Death by rabbit. I could have been a lot smarter then, though. I was waiting for my turn. Um, to be honest, I forgot that she was before me. Got to be on the ball, Anamelo. Um, okay, just take my settlement as well. God damn you. Is there prestige? Oh, I'm just gonna take my other one. Uh, wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> so we've also, we've updated the AI, and they're just brutal now. They're so intense. Oh, here's a new card. Absolutely beautiful card by um, our artist, Jack Crosby. Um, Focus. So that's a spirit buff card. Lightning Strike, we've seen that. Tangle Vine, we've seen that. Um... So, yeah, focus. Beautiful card. Gains two spirit until the end of their next turn. Um, so this is very much like uh, Evil Eye, <coughs> Feral, um, things like that. Way to buff your buff your spirit. Especially now that we have spirit quests. So let's uh, let's just do this. Oh, I can't play it from the background. So. Oh, oh, look at this. Here we are. So I'm just going to do this before... I miss out on it. I'm out of range, you kidding me? Oh, but you know what we can do. This is another thing about buffing your spirit as well that's fantastic. So I can increase my spell range. And I can now I can't afford my god! Oh no! What am I doing? Oh man. That rabbit's just throwing me off. Anyway, let's talk about this. This is rad. Um, so this is Wall of Thorns. Someone has played this card. Let's have a look who it is. Um, Wall of Thorns to settlement. So Amber played this card to this settlement to protect it until dawn. Um, so now I actually can't enter that tile. It's blocked off. And, I, and if I was in it, um, if I teleported into it or whatever, I would, I would be in a lot of trouble. Um, okay, this is, this is devastating. You know what, um, Amber, prestige leader, see the, the AI is getting brutal now, you guys wanted the AI harder, here it is, oh and I should have used my ring then as well, let's get some extra magic. Don't mind if I do. Why, thank you, Mercurio. So, fantastic card, Merchant's Agreement. I'm actually a little bit low on gold, so that really comes as a as a, as a, as a boon. So, as long as Mercurio and I don't die, we'll get a gold um, every round. Truce with Mercurio. Let's have a look at this peril. How are we going? Ooh, plague bearers. Nasty. Yeah, don't worry, Mercurio. You're alright. Hey. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well played, Thane. Bit of a wild sap buff there. Where's this rat? There's my buddy. All right. OK. 
Okay. <sighs> I'm going to win this game. It's game on. It's time to get real. It's time to get real. Amber is just dominating over here with these settlements. Look at this. The only one that... Oh, God, of course. Amber, what? What? Uh, this is super important as well. Um, burn shield cards if you, you know, if you want to avoid confrontations with uh, lupine creatures. Oh, Amber. Amber! Stop it! She's gonna attack me again, you watch. Yeah. Yeah. This rabbit wants me dead. Oh man. Welcome to the Pizza Twitch stream. Um Everyone must have pizza if you're watching the stream. Oh, okay, yes, go away. Go away, rabbit! Now I've only got two. I need a moon juice, so I'm just gonna slam this deck and try and get one. No. I could probably use, with this bloody rabbit running around, probably use an extra armor as well. What have we got? Trusty shield. Let's just. just get Let's just get that going, you know? Um, what should I do? Um, oh, if she wasn't there, I could get to my... Oh, this is... Okay, so th this is what I'm thinking. My quest is here. I have a spirit buff on at the moment. Oh, do I? Or no, I was killed. No focus. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I've got seven spirits. So, if, And this is a spirit quest, which I can check here in my journal. Yep, spirit quest. See this? Villagers spoke of ravens flocking to Arkdale Woods, knowing that likely meant one thing. Rot. So I'm going to set off to investigate. So <laughs> I can't actually get there if I pass through the mountains. But if I can get Amber just at least out of the way, then um, then I'll be able to get here on, on my... Um, so I'm going to try and get her out of the way, and if that fails, I'm just going to retreat to this mountain and hunker down until it's my turn. Oh, oh damn. I just need to get more, which is unlikely, but I just need to get more attack than her. Or just more damage off. The, the only thing that's going in my favor is that I've got more shields than her. Um, so I'm going to burn this to guarantee one. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Come on, wilds! Oh... smash me. <laughs> uh, Alright, worth a try. There's a follower at stake. Alright. Let's hunk, hunker down on this mountain. And then what I'm going to do... Gonna... The king. Do this. Teleport right over to this stone circle and get to that spirit stone. So yeah, teleport's a super, super useful card. I thank you, Mercurio. Um, <laughs> great for just like getting on top of things like that. Who else is? Where are people in the Spirit Stone race? You can check where everyone is it's with Spirit Stones um, on by holding down Tab, and you can bring up this <laughs> um, Prestige Leader Tab, the the Summary Tab. Oh, great! Now Fang's gonna sweat me. Ah, Thane's a monster as well. You watch, he'll have he'll be loaded up to the hilt with armor or something. The Woody Thane build is like just a big armored up dog. I'll get you with my one die. Godspeed. All right, come on. Let the power of the wild be with me. Oh, oh, he's got me. At least I'm. And now the good thing is I'm going to fall back to one of these. Please go this way. Oh, no. Now if he pushes me, I'm going to fall into this stone circle, which is okay. I can handle that. Mm. He's, just, he's just hoping for the big... For the big explode. Yes, no. Fail, fail, no. Wilds, wilds, just give me a wild train. 
Yeah, what up? Ha <laughs> ha! That's right, Thane. The power of the wild compels you. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Good battle. Oh, fucking hell, of course. He's got an extra action point. <laughs> I thought it was over. Oh! He's a deterministic dog. Very determined. Oh, come on. Come on, wilds. Come on, wilds. This is... It's about time that he gets a huge wild chain. You watch. Here they come. Oh, no! Yeah, alright. He's going to push me into this stone circle, though, so that's okay. <laughs> I'll get one of those health back. Maybe I'll encounter the druids. Moonbite. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Sorry. You're not sorry at all. Don't say sorry. <sighs> sorry in that cocksure bravado that you have, Thane. Ouch. Curio's exploring. What do we have? Magic. Ooh. This one. Amber. <laughs> Lord of my area. Lady Amber. Owner of settlements. See, this is a this is the exact type of character that. Oh wow! Look at that. And has banished a bane as well. Um. Oh god! What do I want to do? Yeah. That's, oh, that's great. That's real good. That's handy. Haste. This is a brand new card as well by um, one of our key artists, um, Duncan. Fantastic. And then regeneration. Yeah, I don't have enough for that. I don't have enough for haste. Alright, um, I think you're all going to enjoy this one. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at this. You ready? Wildborn. Play this. Yeah. And then, boom! Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Alright, <laughs> so I just played Wildborn to myself, um, so that I would get five, um, five gold, five, can I, five gold, um, five magic when I stepped into a, a, a stone circle, which permitted me to be able to play Lightning Strike onto my foe. Ah, uh, so now stone circles and the dungeons are prohibited. Thing tied to the rod. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that was going to happen. That's fantastic. Oh, yes. Mm. Wow. All right. I need to get this follower going. <coughs> I can't go through this stone circle, otherwise I get a bounty though. I think I'm just going to have to brave it through these two storms. What's happening over here? Oh. Oh. This is weird. Oh no. This is bad. Is this a bug? This looks well. This is definitely a bug. I wonder if this is a game breaker. Oh, we animated. Oh no, look at this. The release branch as well. <laughs> oh, there it is. NMA. The guys, let's see. Let me let me go to the team chat. Um, alright. So what's going on? I think Thane has been attacked by a bane. It's NMA. You've got the blue the blue screen of death when you look at him, he's fighting no one. Alright, well, there's that. Let's stop. Damn, that was a good game as well. 
Alright, well, let's submit our logs. Let's be good. And submit our logs. Um, Thane, Bane, fighting NMA. Okay. Um, Thane fought a Bane. Oh, Bane appeared. A Bane appeared? Quit, uh, quit to make him proceed. Who needs to quit? Someone, probably Thane needs to quit, I reckon. Thane? Let's see if Woody, if Woody quits, sometimes I might fix it. Just in general, if Woody quits. Woody. Uh, uh, let's see. Is Woody's tied up? This is the the joys of early access. Okay, Woody's. Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe I've animated. It's truly uh, in the <laughs> in, Let's see if Lisi quits. If it continues, go ahead. Losing all, all our teammates. Uh -huh -huh. This might be... Lisa's going to try and quit and that doesn't work. Very strange. Very weird bug. I think what's happened is Thane's banished himself. And now Thane is attacking Thane. Look at that. Let's screen cap that. It's weird. <laughs> Alright, Lisa's quit. Okay. Let's um, let's see if people are if these guys are up for another one, another game. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just play some uh, single player. Quit to main menu. <laughs> All right, Woody's in for another game. Uh, what else we got? Set it up. Ready. All right. <laughs> yeah, we break the game sometimes. It happens. You know, game development. It's always the way. It's like the um, the the demo principle is whenever you're demoing your game, it will break. I can tell you a million horror stories about that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, before that was in a, it was a pretty cool play, if I do say so myself. Um, uh, playing Wildborn and then following up with straight away with our uh, lightning strike. Let's a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. And, uh, invites coming in thick and fast already. Okay, let's do it. Multiplayer! Alright, they're dead this time. I'm gonna smash. I'm gonna smash these fools. Alright. I'm ready. Are you ready? Thane fought himself. That's so insane. How? <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna school these fools. <coughs> Go for this spirit stone victory. No more fighting yourself, Thane. It's banned. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna do the same build. All right. Ah, here we go, pushing in through the clouds on our mighty, mighty king. Oh, what's this? He's sick. Time to take the throne. All right, now, oh, here's another one. Here's a beautiful new card, um, the Wildfire Staff. So, plus one spirit and gain two bonus magic at dawn. Now, this stacks with my ring as well, so this is actually a super handy one to go for, but I've only got two fight so that's not fantastic um the warlock is great he's had some changes as well so the warlock actually has a new effect um so you can cast spells beyond your remaining magic at a cost of minus one health per magic um but i'm going to gain two rot for this um which isn't exactly the worst thing but i'm gonna i'm gonna go the warlock and i'll tell you why um so i went the warlock because i've got four wits <laughs> it's not it's not a bad place to be in for a quest this early on in the game um so, yeah, like the the treasures and the followers, um, spirit stones, these high loot, um, high stake loot that comes with the quest, they're not even particularly easy to get at the start of the game. You know, you're only going in with like, you know, like my fight is 20% or even my best stat is I only have a 50% chance of getting it. Um, but 
you know, I'm going to build that stat even if I fail. Um, I can choose not to go for it as well if the stakes are too high and if the risks are too high. Um, and then on top of that, I have a chance to buff too. Oh, and here's a new card as well in our hand. All right. Um, so we have Royal Banner, uh, which we've all seen before. Um, this is a super powerful card. Um, I probably shouldn't have let on that I have it. Um, Mountain Moss. So this is a brand new card um, actually by Ty Kerry as well. Um, and it's this one with minus two rot until the end of your targets, uh, the targets next turn. So it's super handy for getting getting your rot down, especially if you have to go up against the king or someone who's corrupted. It's super good, super super good. Um, Reprieve is always handy. Um, and Spy Network. I don't really have any items to start off with, but let's uh, let's let's get out of here. God, Thane, why are you over there? Um, I am just going to... Yeah, I'm going to do this. So there's no point, see, I could go for that settlement, but there's really no point, because I think Fang's going to try. He's just going to smash me if I'm standing on that settlement during his turn. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, just coming in. Oh, a stalemate. A stalemate. Stone, a spirit, no, no crystallizing tonight. <laughs> so the crystallizing of the spirits, uh, stone circles doesn't happen every night. Um, <coughs> you're not sure what night it's going to go down or what stone circle it's actually going to happen at. But when it does, it creates that mad scramble across the board. What's Thane going to do? Oh no, he's bypassing the bank. Going to go for this settlement. So the peril, slanderous toads, which doesn't really mean anything. See, you can see he didn't burn any cards because it doesn't really matter if he fails this right now. <laughs> Welcoming party, where's the nearest mountain? All right, this is great. So if he fails this, he's going to get just banished to this mountain here. Oh, he's got it. No. Well done, Fang. Nice couple of settlements. Good, good settlement capping that turn. You really want to capture settlements in this game. Like, you know, the, the, the gold stream is so tight. Um, and we, we have it that way for a reason. Um, but it, oh, and his quest was on there as well. That would have been brutal if he hadn't, if he hadn't done that. Um, Excuse me. You really want to make sure you're capping those settlements and maintaining them uh, to keep a steady gold stream coming through. You know, it's you can win or lose a game by one gold, so really every resource matters. By snap. Oh, played. What's Amber up to? I wonder if she's gonna grief, grief me all match. What to do? What to do? Um, this is gonna be. Handy. Um, and then I think I'm going to. <laughs> Ah, I'm going to lose 
of prestige, which doesn't matter because I have zero prestige. So I'm going to give this one a shot. A wooden hall in the middle of the plain serves as the center point of negotiation between the two families. They are bickering over land use, family power, mercantile routes, petty squabbles all. Um, all right, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a stip end going for the bear clan. Come on, let's give it a shot. Oh, oh. oh man, that would have been useful. The warlock would have been great to have. And then I'm gonna cap this. <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet. No, I can't go back. Oh, just missed it. I thought I was gonna snipe the prestige lead away from Amber just there <laughs> at the end. But, um, alas, I didn't get to town. Oh, she's still higher than me anyway. Alright, she's like, yeah, I know, Amber, god. Bane's Claw, Bane's will never attack you. This is surprisingly useful, um, treasure. Spirit Stone, fine, Explorer. Um, Bane's don't really hassle me as Sana, so I'm actually gonna, I'm just gonna get my spirit up again. Let's do it, let's hunker down. that magic flow happening. Get some gold going as well. From dungeons. Um, so I have scouts so I can actually see where Mercurio's quest is at the moment because I've got my spy spy network um, happening. <coughs> Thane. Smash her, Thane. Yeah, he's putting on his battle armor. Go for Amber. Let's, let's check this out. What's happening? What's happening? See, this is this is the um, this is the classic Woody Fane build. <coughs> Let's have a look at what he's got going on. <laughs> oh, he's doubling up on battle armor and a heavy tail, a heavy flail. Wow. Yeah, there's another heavy flail there. Got the royal banner going in battle armor. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stay in the prestige game. This. This game. I'm gonna try and remember to be on on forest as well during dawn. Oh oh oh! Uh -huh. Spirit strike on Thane. Um, I'm just gonna go ham on spells. God, I can't decide. Banish. Ooh, I wonder if I. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna banish myself. That's a good idea. Get over the other side of the board. Explore. Then <laughs> portal. No, didn't work. Didn't get portal. Oh wow, that's. I wonder if that's ever happened to us before. Um. Okay. 
Let's just hope they didn't break the game because that was fucking weird. Um, I'm going to try and capture the settlement. <laughs> just as the clock is running down, really pushing this game to its limits. I shouldn't be playing like this. Very fees. Um, so, five wits. And I don't have any gold to lose, so there's no point in that. Oh, I should have found my plague, but I, I really don't want that plague. Or oh, the, what do you call it, the dark influence in my hand. Really nasty card to have. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Didn't do anything. gonna see this is the other strategy that I was gonna do I was actually gonna hang around this area hoping that that was gonna happen so kind of didn't really pay off but at least I'm closing on my quest oh, these two have died from the bank bit of insurance. <coughs> um, Elvorn, yeah, it kind of doesn't sit well with us that um, heroes can be corrupted and carry around four spirit stones. So currently if you have four spirit stones, we, we consider you a spirit walker. Um, and if you have five right, you're considered... Um, <coughs> you're considered, uh, what's the word, um, corrupted. So that doesn't really, those two shouldn't work together, they should cancel each other out, but we're just figuring out what's the best way. We're talking a lot about it, um, but we're trying to figure out the best way to handle that, but we didn't really... Um, I can deal with this. I'm actually, oh, I want to burn this card back. Um, yeah, I'll leave that. It's an easy one. Yeah, no, okay, cool. See, I can, I can enter all this, so it doesn't bother me. It would have been nice to get that, um... One right, I've got Cleansing Wild, so I'll take it deep in the bowels of Bandit's Hollow. You move deeper and deeper into darkness until you happen upon the source of the forest corruption. A bluebird, flayed and pinned to an oak stump, kept in the nothingness between life and death. The product of heinous witchcraft. Call upon the wild, cleanse this forest. Cleanse the forest? <coughs> I don't know why, uh, <laughs> so there's a, a British gentleman there that she is today. Call upon the wild in a grand display, but nothing happens. Ah, oh, the audience of ravens mock your efforts, their eyes purple with rot. The suffocation of this dark place pinches your soul, and so you flee the forest before hatred consumes you. Ooh, interesting. All right, now someone's also placed a bloody peril on this settlement. Ain't that annoying? Uh... Okay. I want to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. I was going to keep that lizard for Woody and smash him with it, but um, I decided against it. Well, I didn't. I was going to do it, but I didn't. Ah, uh, lucky I didn't have two go. Alright, good. Let's keep my gold count up there. <laughs> it's almost dying, too. Two settlements for the back land. Um, <coughs> no peace treaty, no battle between heroes is allowed until next dawn. That's pretty good. Palace jailers have released. Yeah, let's keep everyone off my back. The 
the cool thing for me is that because I'm a spellcaster, I can just smash everyone with spells still. Um, scavenger's right. Ooh, a body challenge. I'm good at that. Um, so yeah, now we have a uh, body quest in the game. So an old bear clan treasure went missing a while back. Guess what? Rumor has it a bunch of treasure hunters found it nearby. Yeah, let's do this. still crystallized. I want this wildfire staff. <coughs> so this is a new card as well. This is by Melissa King, um, who's done a bunch of our magic cards and our spell cards. Uh, Wall of Thorns. So you can play this anywhere um, on the board, an empty tile, and we'll just, we saw it before, it'll just be like, some wall, a oh, bunch of thorns come up around it. What are we doing, Mercurio? Ooh, exploring. Gold. Get some gold. Oh, now he's going to steal my bloody gold, isn't he? That's three Warhammer. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, okay, thank you. You bastard. Exploring or something. I will win by combat. No. Actually, I will win by combat. Oh, I get another card. Um, choose wisely from items. Alright, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Um, protect Mercurio. Um, why? Um, excuse me, why? Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Curio, I don't like the cut of your jib. Hmm. Alright, let's go through here. Last game's a good game. See you later, bunny. Let's do some exploring, get some magic, come on. Oh! Damn, son! Spirit Stone. Oh. Um, Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and turn. And turn, and turn. Hey, stream people in the chat. Who do you think is going to win this one? Who do you think is uh, the winner today? Um, oh, thank you for not going for me. But it is me. One rock. Yeah, I could have. Would have liked to have gotten rid of that rock before that happened. <laughs> Ugh. Um, all the thorns. So I want to use that. Yeah, I don't have gold anymore. Let's use this as well. <coughs> yes, yes. Come on, another one. Just one more. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Be gone, you beast. So this is awesome. This is uh, my hero power of Sana. I can actually fight corrupted. I can use my spirit to fight corrupted characters like these Banes. This might be wild on myself. Oh, so it's the bloody Bane train. It's going on. It's happening. Come on, Mercurio, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe. I believe. Whoa, look at that. That's how you play a rap build. Bang, 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 bang. Ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. Six body. What are you doing, Ratty? What's this build you got going on? Oh, kid it out. Look at that. Very cool. Very groovy. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, man. Where's us stay. Oh, a peril. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, this one's a nasty one. <laughs> Lol. Mercurio gonna win, you reckon, Zan? Hmm. Mercurio's playing well. <laughs> At least he's a crafty one. Oh. A Bane for Thane. Check this battle out. I like to sing along with uh, the music. What do we got? Look at how armored up he is. So this is the thing, once, you, once you're once you packing a bit of armor and if you've got some nice fight to boot, like Fane's got six fight and then he's got, it's night time as well, so he's getting one on top of that. And then if he burns a sword, he penetrates shields. So really Fane, you really just got to invest in armor. What's he, is he still running those two battle armors? Yeah, see, two battle armors and a heavy fail. It really works, man. He didn't get his plus two swords in that fight, but look, he clearly doesn't need it. He's still on three health or whatever. Oh, let's see if Mikurio is going to go for this spirit stone. Out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing, Amber? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll go for another item. And we'll go for a press. No. No, we'll go for a spell. Oh, and there it is. So this is a brand new card. Um, <laughs> of course, done by Ty Carey. This is the this is the big boy. This is big papa in the new cards. Um, crystallize. So what this will do is this card, if you play it to a stone circle, it will create a spirit stone there. So I could just play this if I had if I had six um, six magic, I could play this to a to a stone circle. All right now, I really don't want to have to walk onto this dungeon, but it's in my way, so I'm gonna do it. Yep, some gold. Don't mind if I do. You know what I'll do with that gold? I'll equip some cards. Um, <laughs> same with Lantern would be useful, but I think I just need it, just a little bit more survivability, so, um, let's play this. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, it's more important. Where am I in the turn order? forest so I get that sweet sweet magics yeah. oh yeah and I got my two magic for my ring um, <coughs> oh starfall right in that position each hero stripped of one randomly okay starfall so this is a brand new king's declaration um, so a spirit stone falls from the heavens and lands in a random stone circle within the kingdom. <coughs> Here it is. These two going at it. So I played that Tangle Vine there to block anyone from trying to get that Spirit Stone. Hopefully it does the job. Oh, Attack of the Titans. Look at this. 
Oh, it's in Sane's favour, but he hasn't been able to burn some cards, so that means that all of Nikiro's shields are gonna... Oh my god, the wilds, the wilds are real. <laughs> no, seven attack, eight attack. Alright, and then just... Blah, just roll out those dice. Oh, brutal. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's still alive. God, Mercurio. Buffed up to the hilt. Then Thane's got the settlement. Wow, what a what a what a battle. That was epic. <laughs> that was cray. Focus. Ooh. Bit of spirit. Little bit of spirit. Good time to play Focus as well, um, which is a card that gives you plus two spirit until the end of your next turn. You really want to play that during the day so that um, when your next turn rolls around, well, you want to play it after your turn during the day. <laughs> oh, get are you serious? That is ridiculous. It is over for you. Rat. <laughs> it is honestly over for you. Ugh. Oh god. It's devastating. Choose. Do an item and a spell. Item? Item? Yeah, an item. No, you're not. You're not sorry at all. That was a silly move. You're gonna get smashed now, right? Now, the reason why I didn't go into that swamp, I didn't use that last action point, is because I'm only on two health as it is, and it's more important that I survive to get to this spirit zone than it is that I, you know, get closer to it. I'm going to get there in the next turn anyway. So I can take that damage later as opposed to exposing myself to the chance... Oh, I'm Bane Rout of the Kingsguard. Um, as opposed to exposing myself to the chance this turn of being killed. Thane, kill that rat. Go for Mercurio. Haste. Make it happen, thing. Staying in the Prestige lead has worked for me though this game. Exactly how you lose friends in Armello, Lacey. <laughs> oh. Is it working to sleep in terror? Come on, sleepy terror. Oh, he's got a Brazenbury Ale going as well. Look at this look at this kid out he's got. Sign of that. <coughs> Curious turn. <a> bloody rat. <coughs> mm. 
stupid rat gonna do? Touch me, rat, and it's over. This is war. Very well played. So that he, he used Call of the Worm to change all of my. See, these are me most of me now. Burning these will just make me worse. And all that. It's basically over me. I should probably just burn some to get rid of them. good because it's going to slow Mercurio down getting to this spirit stone. I mean like I'm obviously on the other complete other side of the board but I have the magic to be able to you know mobilize a mobilize a um, <laughs> a teleport or a banish or something like that it actually means something if it comes into my hand whereas Mercurio you know what's he sitting on um, Mercurio is sitting on you know two spirits so he can hardly do anything Magic. Those cards are pretty much out of his reach. Yeah. Well played thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're actually the cards that I really need. So, but I do need a moon too small. So, God. I'm gonna play bark skin onto myself because. This quest is a body quest. Oh, that follow up. It's a butt my body. Okay, now I've got some. Oh, it's a wildfire stuff. That's what I forgot. It's even better. But I just find a small house district trying to drag a large treasure box from a broken down caravan. Small mouse in a small house. Um, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Alright. Quit the wildfire stuff. Oh, over what? Over this guy. Um, I'm gonna clear this. I don't really need. Let's just give this a shot. I want to get rid of some of these cards anyway. Which hunters? Ugh. There be druids here though. No, no. <laughs> I end my turn there, so I get my at least I get some spirit at dawn. Oh what? I'm not the prestige leader. Fane! Thanks, Colgill. Yeah. Anything goes. Oh, the, ta the king conjures up a dark storm, dropping lightning strike perils across the kingdom. Oh, great. Fantastic. Thank you, king. Let's choose my quest. <laughs> I really need to go for a spirit stone now. It's getting a bit late in the game. Oh, the apprentice, though. Oh, no. That's right, I'm getting blast now. Yeah, that's awesome. So because of the wildfire stuff, I'm getting four magic at dawn if I end in a forest now because um, the wildfire stuff gives me plus one spirit and I gain <laughs> um, two bonus magic at dawn. Oh, man. 
Gerardzi, amazing singer. It's, it's actually not Lisa Gerardzi on the soundtrack, it's me. Um, yeah, but uh, Cat's out of the bag now. Woo. Uh, just kidding, it's amazing. Lisa, the amazing Lisa. Um, oh, Mercurio, what's going on? Thane's, Thane's been a little, little sneaky down this side of the board. Don't know what he's up to. Mercurio's given up going that way. It's Peril, Mountains, Banes. Oh, he's going to go the long way. Oh, follower. Great, because that's what he needed. Mercurio. <coughs> Umber. Oh, taking Mercurio settlement. Encountering a peril. Smashing it. Look at that. He's a machine. Shining Steel Sword. Ugh. No, no truce. You're a dastardly rat. Um. Ugh. Worst hand. Worst hand. Yes, suck it, Mercurio. My fourth man. We are scheduled to come out on iPad probably about six months after launch on PC. So iPad, Android, tablets will be six months after PC. And Windows tablets. Which is very much excite, yes. Oh, look at that, a perfect defense. Perfect defense, great form. Well done, Mikuyo. Oh, smash that bane. You watch him, how much gold has Amber got? Mercurio's about to break. Oh, I can't open that because I'm getting attacked. Um, I'm just going to get rid of all these cards here. Ooh. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Wow, that would have sucked. Oh, I should play this one to myself. Oh no, because I need the magic. Oh, don't kill me. Good. 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 Jolly good. But I did three damage to you. Gain that sweet prestige. Prestige leader again. Who's your papa? Big, big mama bear. In the prestige lead. Big mama bear prestige lead. All right, what are we doing? Come on, Thane. Oh, 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 where's he going? Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha, kill that rat. God, how much, how many action points do you have? He must have played haste or something onto himself. Where's he going? I don't like this at all. So you can see. Divination is um and scout. And... Yeah, just cleaning up on him, just, just taking Amber's gold. <laughs> and then raking in that income for uh what I might do next round is I might just actually just play a full round of um for the daytime next round. <laughs> I might just play a full round of prestige cards. Trickery card. 
that, sorry. Oh. Amber is ambushed. So you can see with our AI improvements as well that like they're, they're really, they can, you know, they're contenders. Like she's not far off everyone else in the prestige and she's got a solid build going on. <laughs> Over here. Oh, the breast, line heart breastplate, this is actually a brand new card as well. So plus two shields and the wearer never retreats, um, which makes you um, invulnerable. Yeah, excuse me. Which makes you impervious to, uh, um, what do you call it? Routing. What's going on? Oh, we missed it. Two. Curious keeping her at bay, but she's determined to get back that settlement for Dawn. War of attrition here. I don't think she's going to win this one, though. So now, this is what I'm talking about with more deterministic ways to actually collect spirit stones. <laughs> um, mercenaries, who's, who's within range of this bad boy? This rabbit is. That's later. And that prestige. <laughs> and I can claim a settlement as well. I want to do that for one that is likely to get captured by the bloody Mercurio. <laughs> Might actually just leave that card in my hand for now. <coughs> and then all the heroes have a minus one die on face of this barrel. Bounties or poison? I'm going to do bounties. <coughs> These king's guards motivated. Start sweating some heroes. Start trawling the spell. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna get routed. Look at this. <laughs> That's probably not a bad thing because my my bounce is gonna get wiped, but it means Thane's gonna take my bounce. I'm gonna lose a prestige. He's gonna slingshot ahead. This is a fantastic position for him to be in. I just do this for the shits and giggles. Just make it a little bit harder for him. Oh great. He just negated it. <laughs> Spirit stones all truce. Oh, interesting. <laughs> wow, very unfane like.
Mercurio. Come on now, Mercurio. What's Mercurio up to? Some gold. He seems to be on the Spirit Stone path, but... Oh, look at this loadout. What? Wow. Oh, that's why he's playing those spell cards, because he's got the bloody apprentice. <laughs> oh, do I want to? Yeah, right. Yes. Oh, oh, look at that. Plague bearers. Well played. Well played, Mercurio. Staying away from the King's Guard is what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, stuff it. Go for a dive. <laughs> oh, that's good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Collect that bounty puppy. Look at him. Seven health, eight fight. He's doing his quest. <coughs> chase him as well. Yeah, and he's going to. Going at it get at it again. Where's Amber during all of this? She must be stealth. Or she had a oh, okay, she must have died. <laughs> oh 
this is... If Dane gets lucky on any of these rolls... the war of attrition now. Thane's in a pretty confident place here with five body and all that armor. So only a Bane is really going to save Mercurio now if Thane decides to take... Oh, plus six gold as well. Holy hell. Huge find in that, um, in that dungeon there. good for me at all. There's anything I can do to make it a little bit trickier for him. You will win by prestige, is that so? Well, oh, yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> it certainly looks that way. I need that banish or a teleport. Hmm. Let's step on this dungeon in the hopes that I get banished to a random one. Start making my way around the board as well, I think. I want to get away from Thane. Thane's just going to smash me. Really need gold, so let's just risk it with a bane here. Yes, no, not really where I wanted to go, but anyway. Um, I'll just end over here so we can. Oh, well, this is one of the king's lightning strikes and that king's decoration. Hmm. I want all of the cards. Oh, it's a bit. Yeah. Oh, I could have. Yes. Yes. All right. Good stuff. Dane in the prestige lead. Look at that. Tearing away. Mercurio, you just lose all your followers in one swoop. Oh. Oh. Yes, I actually, Mercurio, I think that's a very wise move. So Mercurio is obviously not very impressed with Fane's tear away in the prestige, so. It skewers my place there. Oh, on to the end of the next turn. <laughs> this is worth playing. 
so I can so I can buff up next turn. I've got a whole heap of magic anyway. <laughs> I'll play this too. I'm gonna go over a stone circle at some point in the future. Going for the king! Oh, he could win. Yeah, look. I think it might be over, folks. <laughs> oh, I should have played that over here. That was silly. Hmm. Oh. only hope I've got is if I draw crystallize again <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna have to hammer the spell deck I've got to banish him out get teleport so I can teleport in somewhere um, teleport to that stone circle <laughs> Let's just hammer this spell deck, see what it gives us. <laughs> Another... I can <laughs> take down this king. Thane's got this. It's got to be very unlikely that he doesn't. Even if he just has two sword cards, it's going to work for him. He's removing the king's He's lost all his prestige. He's got to get two, and if we see cards burn, then we know we're probably in trouble. See all that health there? Yeah, oh no, he's just burnt a wild. Come on, King, shield up! Yes, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! He's got another couple. I think he's got like up four turns or whatever or something. Yeah, he's gonna go again. Come on, just want the king to get lucky. Victory to Fane. There it is. 
that. Well done. Boom. Red Knight Heart. No lock, King. Ah, no, my kingdom. There it is. <laughs> and the win goes to Woody. <laughs> For a battle victory. Now, Claire, <laughs> it is this day. Every dog has its day. Wow, it's nice. Nice work. Alright, so there it is. It's weird, we're using two different assets for the spirit stones there. That's strange. Um, thanks for joining us, everyone. So you can see that a bunch of new cards came through and everything there. <laughs> Bad luck, mate. Yeah, mate. <laughs> That, that next turn, if Woody hadn't, have Woody hadn't have taken that, I would have, you know, I would have smashed that king. Um, so let's go check it out, Akalades. Uh, immortal. Oh, we got two tracks playing at once as well. Ooh, another signet ring. Amethyst. We're getting closer. Immortal journeyman wanderer, vanquisher, landlord. <laughs> cool, we go. Pacifist healer, shadow. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, good stuff. That was a fun game. All right. <coughs> well, thanks everyone for joining us. So there you have it. That's um, that is of the O point three point three. Um, oh, isn't that working? Let me click it. Oh, there's a bug. There is a bug. Let's look at some spell cards. No, 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 um, <laughs> yeah, so there it is, that is the, um, this game, I might actually just quit and then reboot the game, so that's, Alright, so we're back. Um, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, that was that was a rad game. Um, so I'm just going to probably go through a couple of the cards here, but I also wanted to show you this feature as well, the save game feature. So now, as many of you have requested, you can now continue continue your game. If you uh, if you start a new single player game while you've got a save game and you continue slot, um, it will stomp over it. But yeah, if you're playing, I know Alvorn was is going to be pretty happy about this one. <laughs> um, so if you playing a game and then, I don't know, the kids call or you've got to duck out and grab some milk or, um, you know, you've actually, your boss comes so you just got to quit the game and actually do work for once, uh, then you can just quit and at least auto save the game every dusk and dawn and so the next time you come it'll just be the previous dusk or dawn um, that will say that so you can just hit continue and go from there. That's a super rad feature that I've actually been using a bit because I, Lord knows I don't get much time to do this stuff, play the game. Uh, what's this? All right, Mountain Moss. So yeah, this is a card by Ty Carey, um, who you know is one of the directors here at Log. Uh, Mountain Moss. So this is a this is an awesome one. Minus two rot until the end of target's next turn. So we do want want the rot to be quite quite intense in the way that it um, sticks around with you and lingers. Very cancerous sort of force, but you know we it, it can be a little bit intense at times and and a little bit too much when the rot is just is just creeping on you and so we want to give players a bit of a reprieve from time to time on that <laughs> and so we've uh we've implemented the mountain moss card which which really helps in that in that regard um, what else do we have here let's have a look at what the unveiled in that game 
So Wall of Thorns, this is an awesome one. So you can literally play to any tile in the game, apart from Palace and Clan Grounds, of course, um, that's empty. So it kind of have a peril on it or anything like that or a character. But you play it there and you can protect a Spirit Stone. You can protect um, a settlement of yours. You can actually play it pr strategically to create a wall <laughs> to route someone against. Um, fantastic little card. Else. Um, Bloodthirst, so this is a brand new one. This actually didn't come up um, in the in the game, um, but this is this is a card by Jerome Jacinto. Um, and so until the end of your next turn, you gain one health for each wound you inflict in battle. So this is actually dealt after your your wounds are dealt. Um, so if you're in a battle and you survive it, any of the wounds that you've done, you'll get uh, regain health for them. So this is sort of like your last ditch effort effort to come back. Um, good way to keep yourself in the running for longer um so we've got moonbite here so minus two health at night or minus one health during the day so a straight up damage card but you know it's it really packs a punch during the night and this is wonderful absolutely beautiful art by tim mcburney friend of ours here from oz um this one's great um spirit strike so this actually, the target suffers one, minus one health for each magic spent on casting this spell. And it costs you all your remaining magic. So if you have two magic left and you cast one on someone, it's going to do two damage. If you have ten magic, or like I had at one point in that game, if you have eleven magic and you cast this on someone, it's going to do eleven damage. But it's going to use all of your magic. And you can play this to Bane, you can play it to King's Guards, you can play it to players, um, anywhere within your spirit range. Um, which of course is equal to your spirit stat. So this one is super powerful, good for smacking people down across the board. Um, what else? Focus. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this one's by Tim McGurney as well. This is another one of Tim's cards. Um, Focus. <laughs> so this one's absolutely awesome. Um, great artwork here by Jack Crosby. Um, one of the younger artists on the team, but obviously being able to keep up with, uh, with the big kids. Um, super talented. Also, um, for those of you who came and saw us at Gamescom, um, Jack was floating around there as well, helping us out on the booth. Um, so the target gains plus two spirit until the end of their next turn. So just a very, very much needed... Um, spirit buff within the game. It really helps round out the decks. Haste, um, this card's by Adam Duncan. Absolutely gorgeous animation illustration here. Um, so plus one action point for your next two turns. So this is similar to, you know, the plus one action boost that Hot Rod, Wine, or Strategist gives you, except this one is for your next two turns. So you actually don't get it on that turn. That So if you play during your on turn, you won't get it that turn. You'll get it the next turn and the turn after. Um, <laughs> but super powerful card. Um, teleport. Yeah, this is um, this is just fantastic, awesome um, art here, and, and animation by Ty Carey. So this Ty was um, s struggling with this one, really trying to get the awesome teleport effect, like blinking in and out between two places. And him and Adam came together and found a way to do it in the end. It was it was cool watching this one come to life. And then of course we have got Guppy hanging on the side there, um, <laughs> our, our little buddy, everyone's favorite unlucky squire. Um, so yeah, this one is just freaking awesome card play it to any empty tile uh you can just play it down and you're there the next um the next second so it's great like you saw in the first match i believe it was right just jumped onto that spirit stone or getting to a quest awesome for that stuff and then this one um crystallize so this charges a stone circle um <laughs> creating a spirit stone there so that the spirit stones how they crystallize and they they bring all those um the the stone the um, the spirit stones into into the game so that you can you know, have access to them and get get a hold of some sweet sweet spirit stones have more deterministic ways to find your way to the king and to to vanquish him to save him but uh, kill him in the process with our spirit stones sort of pacifist um, style victory um, we've found more deterministic ways of doing that and first of all it was the stone circles charging and crystallizing and actually <laughs> delivering um stone circles across the board and then it was adding the king's deck to starfall which we saw at one point um and then of course there's this card um there's only one of this card in the deck as well so it's got to be used or burned for it and then the deck for, to be reshuffled for that to appear again <laughs> um but there it is you know like that's it um, then of course, and it's just great. It's you know it's fantastic when you're on the Spirit Stone path, um, or this you know the Spirit Stone victory path, and you you really want to just help secure it. This is going to get you 25% of the way. It's great to see that come into your hand. Um, then of course we've got followers. Um, so the apprentice. <laughs> so all spell cards cost one less magic to cast. This one's awesome. Um, super super useful. This little guy is <laughs> incredibly cute as well. And this is Adam Duckett's card. Um, 
so great for spell casters or even people like you know mercurio had this equipped at a while that was casting spells well above his uh, pay grade um what else we got um coin master was the last one so because he was still got a lot of followers to come um <laughs> warlock big changes to warlock so it can cast spells beyond your remaining magic at a cost of one health per magic so if you have safe if you have three magic and you want to cast crystallize which is a six magic spell you can still do it it's just going to cost you three health so if you're sana and you're on say six or you're on five spirit uh, five body your base start and then you play this card um you, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna eat into you're only gonna be on two health at the end if you've got three magic so but it, it's super useful can really get you out of a bind if you're willing to sacrifice a, a couple of health um what else we got here <laughs> no these are all old okay some new treasure Bing. Wildfire stuff. So this one's absolutely awesome. Um, plus one spirit and gain two bonus magic at dawn. So that one is really helping me out in that second match, getting me that magic flow at dawn. Um, super rad, super rad card. And again, by the incredibly talented Ty Carey, my buddy and uh, co-director of League of Geeks. So yeah, a bunch of new cards in the game. No new, <laughs> no new tri um, trickery cards this time around because we had the huge trickery update with... Um, uh, what was it called? Engines of Fate. <laughs> and now we're now we're just um, bunkering down on the spell cards. And there's a bunch here as well that I haven't got in game yet. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so what else do we have <coughs> within the cards? We had um, Bloodthirsty Saw, Focus You Saw, um, Teleport, Moonbite, Crystallize, Fo um, Spirit Strike, Haste, um, Lionheart Breastplate was that other treasure. Um, which is in battle plus two shields and the wearer will never retreat. Super powerful defensive item, um, really helping round out those defenses within the game. Um, and then the conjurer as well. So draw one spell card every time you play a spell peril to the board. But I haven't got those guys yet. All right, everyone, I'm going to log off. I'm actually going to do some work on our mellow. Um, thanks, everyone, for, for joining in. We're probably going to start doing some streams more often, maybe like weekly now. Um, we'll try and get some some of the team members on board and we'll maybe play some games with community members as well. Um, in fact, we, we definitely will play some games with some of the community members too. So expect to stream um, every week from here on out. We're not sure what day or time yet, but you know, obviously just keep yourselves posted on the forums and um, the Facebooks and the Twitters <laughs> and you should see it come through. Uh, and then of course, keep your eyes peeled for the update of for the update of the next update the reveal of the next update um, when we start dropping info on that which should be in a couple of weeks until then um, we'll see you guys later